Question 28. The hydrocarbon C17H36 can be cracked. Which compound is the least likely to be produced in this reaction? Okay, so for this question, um, because C17 is kind of too long to draw, uh, so I reduce the carbon by 10. Uh, basically, it will be uh, very similar. Okay, so let's start with the, this uh, C7H16. So when uh, the carbon reduced by 10, okay, so this is the uh, alkane. So we know that for hydrocarbon, it can be cracked uh, at any part and it can form a smaller hydrocarbon. Normally, it will form alkane and alkene. Okay, so for example, uh, we're using this one. If let's say now the heptane is being cracked, let's say here undergo bond break, here undergo bond break. Uh, I, I try not to uh, involve a very complicated mechanism uh, because it's not really that useful for you. Um, Okay, so just need to know when this bond break, this bond break. So these two part, the CH3 and this uh, CH2, CH3, they will combine and form the propane. Actually, it will form radicals. So two radicals combine, then uh, it will form the new bond and you form this uh, propane. And here, it will form the, uh, the butene, so C4H8. Okay, so which means uh, if let's say C7H16 able to form the C3H8 and C4H8, therefore the shorter one like C7H16 also can form this. Okay, so therefore A and B always can form and it will form in a uh, normal amount. If let's say we use the uh, same uh, hydrocarbon and let's say now the bond break uh, is here, let's say, because uh, now uh, we want to find which one is least likely to produce. Okay, if let's say now the bond break is here and the C7 now is from C6 reduced by one carbon. Okay, because we want to we want to really prove that this one is actually least likely to form. Okay, if let's say now we have a C7 and now here undergo bond break. Okay, so eventually it will form this CH3 and it will form this this uh, uh, fra fragments. Okay. And this one is hard to form. Uh, C six H fourteen. This one, because this one is CH three. This um uh this fragment is hard to get a hydrogen from this, and to form the C six H fourteen. Uh, this one is C six H uh, thirteen. Uh, if let's say you want to form C six. H14, you need to get another hydrogen. Okay, so means in order to form the shorter hydrocarbon, especially uh, shorter by one carbon like this, from C7 H16 to form C6 H14 is actually quite difficult. Uh, it's not really say that impossible, but it's relatively more difficult than others. Okay, so therefore, we can actually apply uh, the same concept towards the C17 to the C16. If let's say we want to form the C16 hydrocarbon from C17 through cracking, it's relatively harder than the others, as I told you just now. Okay, for example, uh, the breaking, if let's say at this part, so is form six carbon here and this fragment is very hard to form the 
C6, H14 later. Right? Okay, if let's say now the bond break is not is not here, uh, if let's say it's here, so it will form two carbon and the five carbon fragments. Okay, so therefore it will form something like this. Uh, so for these, then uh, the C5H shells is actually easier to form. Okay, because this one can get the protons from here easily. Okay, and to form the C5H shaft, and this one later it will form C2H4. After this, these uh, hydrogens, okay, is uh, uh, <clears throat> combined with this fragment, right? Uh, so therefore, it's easier for the the let's say the hydrocarbon, let's say C7 to form a shorter one, shorter by two carbon. It's possible. It can happen. Shorter by one carbon is kind of like uh, relatively more difficult. Like from C7 to C6 or from C17 to C16, concept is the same. Okay, of course, C it will it can be formed anytime, right? Because it's an alkene. So alkene can form okay, easily through the cracking. Okay, so I hope you understand, right? So answer of course is D, uh, is D. So it means uh, the C16H34 is relatively uh, harder to form compared to the rest. Okay, answer is D. I hope you understand. Thank you.